and day turned to night. A man turned up covered in soot, still carrying his briefcase. People were crying. Some just stood not knowing where to go. I kept thinking about my family, my colleagues, whether they were all right, whether I would see them again. It felt like the end of the world. Then I looked and the second tower collapsed. It was gone. It looked like an exodus. People were coming out of nowhere covered in towels. A barman closed his bar in front of us. Today, there would be no business as usual. Although somebody started to clean his fire escape around Wall Street. After we saw this woman call her family, we called ours too to let them know we were okay. People stopped to tell us what they saw. They said people were running their hair on fire. People were jumping out of the World Trade Center. Jumping out. Jumping out because they don't know what to do. So, I mean, they're dead by doing that. This man was taking this boy away from the scene. Their parents work in the big building. This couple was reunited and fine. We were invited into a hotel on Wall Street which was serving food in a makeshift room. We met the lucky ones too. This man overslept and he didn't get to work on time. He worked on the 78th floor of the World Trade Center. From what I understand, my whole office is dead. Everybody died up there, jumped out or burned. When we got to Wall Street, the stock exchange was closed. The police were blocking our way. We found a policeman two blocks away from the World Trade Center who was guarding a piece of one of the planes. He was waiting for a forensic team to come and pick it up. I felt the nightmare was just carrying on. When we got closer to the World Trade Center, policemen were getting more and more nervous. Then we finally saw it through the smoke. The remains of the World Trade Center looked like a broken fence. It felt like covering a volcano eruption, dust everywhere, inches thick, pieces of paper covering the ground from the buildings. Again, it was three o'clock in the afternoon on Broadway. It felt like a very bad horror movie. On the way back to the office on the empty highway uptown, I thought about all this senselessness, about these terrible acts, and about the freedom to do evil.